Hey everybody, I'm Brennan. And I'm Jelena, and this is Alder Grove Explorations. Essentially what we'll be doing in this series is exploring Alder Grove. This includes the city, the local ecosystems, and the outskirts, as well as learning about the biology of the local ecosystems and all the strange stuff that happens in Alder Grove. So let's get to it. Five minutes into recording this video, Jolina disappeared into the bush. Where could she have gone? Hmm, no sight of Jolina in the bush. Or on the bridge either. Oh? Never mind, she has returned. How was your trip into the bushland? There was there. What a mysterious man. Alder Grove is home to many homeless people. No, he was not homeless. He was just looking at the Okay. Alder Grove is home to not only many homeless people, but people who just like looking at the creek. Mind you, this creek is heavily polluted. Oh yeah, should we actually make a video talking about how polluted the creek is right here? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start it here. Sorry guys, I mean here. Okay, <laughs> let's take a closer look at that creek. I have a, a, a squirrel throw something at me. Do you see any squirrels up there? Might have run away. I don't see any squirrels. Anyways, <laughs> so here's the creek. This beautiful creek is named the Bertrand, and we will be referring back to it multiple times in the series, because we just love this little creek. We actually clean this creek on every Friday. Every Friday. Um, not this exact part. We are working our way up, but we remove invasive species, pollution, including garbage. We uh, clean up some of the oil that is usually on the top, as well as some of the things on the outskirts of it, like the invasive species on the side. Yeah, so like these dumb plants, we hate them, they're prickle bushes, and also see that grass, just just all that grass, That's we hate that. canary grass, yeah. it has a matted root system, and we will be doing some, we will be talking a little bit more about oh. that later on. Look how deep it is over there. So, um, first things first, what do you notice about the creek? Well, there's a lemon in it! Oh my god! <laughs> so, so, last year actually, around this time, November, so before Christmas, I was walking further up the creek and there was about 20 lemons just floating in it. So this is just another bizarre occurrence that happens uh, during this time. Lemons just miraculously appear in the creek. For as long as we can actually remember, there's just been lemons in November in the creek. So... And lemons don't even grow here. Unless someone is seasonally putting lemons in the creek every November, I believe there is some stranger explanation to why we can find lemons in the creek. But we'll be diving into that later. There is also clothing, tons and tons of clothing, of course other trash, but lots of clothing. Seeing as people like to dump their clothing items in here, maybe there might be a few clothing dead- clothing like 20 times. Yeah, there's a lot of clothing. Shopping carts full of clothing. Look at all that clothes. Lots of clothes, lots of concrete. And another cool thing- frick off. Okay, another cool thing is if you look down there, there's another side to that. So hopefully when we get gumboots, or hip waders, we can walk all the way down to the other side. Is that a person right there? Is it? You guys, when we're editing this, we're gonna like zoom in on here and see if we can see anything weird. I think there might be creepy clowns. We might even play Ouija board down here if we get enough likes and comments, guys. So make, make sure to uh, like and comment and we might do a 9 a.m. Ouija board down there. Or, or 12 a.m. PM, you know, time. Yeah. So we'll do it like at midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brennan. Ooh, we can see if we can summon some clowns. And what's down here? There's two drains. Oh my god. There's something blue over there. I don't know what that is. 
you can take a look at that later. There's lots of graffiti. We might uh, find some weird, some weird cult or satanic ritual things down there too. Okay, so we'll move on to another section of the creek now. Or another section of Alder Grove. We'll see. There's some construction. There's a lot of uh, new construction happening in our town lately. So for the many, many years that we've been living here, there's never been anything new constructed. But now in 2018 and 2019, it's like the town has hit some sort of, some sort of boom with construction. Our town is a boomer. I know. Yeah, oh, lovely little bridge. There's a lot of birds in this area. Which, oh, that's a leaf, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of birds in this area, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know the species though, but it definitely is one of the most birdiest places in our town. Um, wherever I go, there's only crows, but here we've got at least five different species of birds. Right by Dollarama, see? If you take a look, that's our Dollarama. That's like the major money maker of our town. So all the economy is kind of based off this Dollarama because no one else shops anywhere else. Like literally just Dollarama. Do you have Dollarama. other shops besides a vape shop and a Dollarama? I, I, I don't think so, but we'll go through town crows. and we'll see. Oh, more clothes, nice. Crows. Oh, crows? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I think if you take a look, I can estimate there's about 20 crows over there, but when like driving through town, there's over 200 <laughs> max crows in our town, just on average. They're everywhere, it's weird. But yeah, so there's the Dollarama, the major money maker of our town. And a cool thing about it is it's basically where you can find anyone anytime. You can just walk in there and you'll know someone. It doesn't matter who or where they're from, you'll know them. I have never entered that Dollarama without seeing someone I know. It's the weirdest thing ever. Weird. Wow, look at them, they're just herding in there. Holy cow, there's like 10 there's of so them. so many of them. Holy cow, they just pile on in there. Look, All that's... there's someone I know. Look See, oh my god, see? I told you, people we know. And there's another bizarre thing. There's these sections of town where there's just entire buildings roped off, but people live in them. Like, you can't get in there. They're completely gated off. And that's probably because of the high amount of crime that happens in our little town, but that's probably also for other reasons, which we could explore later. This is another weird thing. They put up these blue fences around these certain locations where movie companies and uh, TV shows like to film, and they section off huge areas that they don't even use. some more section of the creek. You can see a lot of leaves pile in here and they all rot at the bottom and they sometimes create a dams further down. Yeah, literally you can there's see a lot of graffiti there. down there. Yeah, can't really see because there's a tree in the way. But let's go see if there's, I know there's an entry over there, but let's see if there's any opening down here because this actually leads to this old abandoned mall that was closed down quite a while ago, a couple years back because they had um, asbestos. asbestos, yeah. And like the owner didn't want to get it like torn down because the Dollarama is actually connected to it. And there's a few other businesses connected, oh, here we go, to it. It's quite a large building. And uh, I remember back when I was like a really small kid, there's a cool marker over there. Um, there's a building up there. So we can't go up there. There's an orange marker. If you take a look, they're uh, filming up there. They usually use the front part of the building to do videos uh, for like movies and stuff, but I've never personally seen this building used in any uh, movies or videos, so I'll have to look into that. But as far as I'm aware, I've personally never seen it used, but it's just constant all these vehicles and cars parked out front and lots of activity going on there this is what i'm talking about so this is a locked community gate you yeah. can see the door looks like it's straight out of jurassic park and you can literally like, not like, open it yeah they're holding dinosaurs in here that's 
it's basically what type of security they have and lots of surveillance too so that's it's pretty interesting a lot of places around town are just you know normal houses but I've never seen in any other community uh, housing unit like that. What? <laughs> Why your knee like that, Brennan? It was a oh my god! It was a quick repair. I I didn't want to use my better jeans. I swear I have better jeans than these. I do. I ha I have better jeans than these. Come on. So I don't know if you can hear me right now because of the highway, but if you take a look there. This is the birds I was talking about. You can hear about 10 or more of them in this kind of bush section. There's so many. Uh, and a weird thing is, every time I walk by here, there's this... Y your shadow is... Um, it's like a mixed nut and seed on the ground. So I don't know if people are feeding them. Let's see. Uh, there it is. I'm not gonna get AIDS from touching them. I mean, if you touch anything in this town, you're probably gonna get AIDS. And then there's this hole that homeless people tend to go in. But... Are you gonna go in there? Are you homeless? Oh, yeah, she's just gonna go in. I bet you just got AIDS from touching all of that. A giant pile. Of human feces. Probably. So yeah, right, it's hidden behind this nice box, so no one can really see it, so that's nice. A neat thing about our town, neat little aspect, is we have this highway going straight through town. It's the most busiest one ever. There's constantly multiple cars in traffic, and it's chaotic, but Despite all this constant vehicles and people coming through town, no one really shops here. I've never seen someone in that store, or in that store, any of the stores. It's just so bizarre. Except for Dollarama, of course. The main shout and only... Sh uh, yeah, shout out to Dollarama for being the main and only money supplier of our town. Thanks, oh, Dollarama. Don't forget the weed stores, Brennan. Oh yeah, weed stores, vapes, gotta vape it all. Oh my god, it's the crows again. They never moved. They're all like congregating in a circle together. Aw, look at them all. Oh no, no, my babies. You ruined my babies, look at them all. The gang has just broke up. The squad is now all over the place, completely decimated. They're coming back. Why? Oh no. Hey dude, oh my god, it's the exact same feed that we saw over there. Who is doing this? Who is giving birds seeds? They're just plopping it down on the ground. Crap. It sounded like gunfire. What was that? that didn't they, sound anything like they ran over that piece of trash and it made some gun <laughs> noise. <laughs> okay, we're going to Dollarama. Shout out to Dollarama again, main main supplier of our town's money. Currently in the Dollarama at the moment. Um, like all Dollaramas, this Dollarama has everything you need to survive in the wild. Cosmic brownies, Rice Krispies, everything. Beeswax, chips in the bags, tons of Doritos. Yeah, it's made by bees. So wax. Sometimes they have wax. I saw one of these birds once flying around town. Um, I think there's an escaped one. That's pretty weird. This is the kind of bird Jay has. Yeah. Shout out to Jay for being the best bird person um, in Alder Grove. In the world. Yeah, in the world. Thank you very much. Wow, white cats. Christmas already? No, 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 I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> Normal, but. Oh my god, wait. Emphasis on but. I can open it. Ready? Oh god, that's a lot of eggs. Is that what birth looks like? Frog, frog birth eggs? That's so bizarre. Ew, his head's like lumped in. I know, that's how it be sometimes. Oh, I'm just gonna put it in the bag. Yeah, good job. Good Samaritan over here, 10 out of 10. A real human being. 
dollar ammo. I don't think it matters much. I don't think you matter much. I'm just kidding, you do. No, I was just looking at that. That's what you get when you get tonsillitis. That's is this what it a looks unicorn? Like. I'm struggling to make out what that even is. It's a unicorn. Ew. I eat children. Is that Eleven from Stranger Things trademarks? Shout out to Netflix for being epic. I'm hey, Gio, a not. white man and I grill. Grilled your mom. I grilled your mom. I oh god. Your, I grilled your dad. Oh Jesus. This is squad goals right here. I've never seen anyone look like that before. I wish. We need to look like that. What we need to do. Squad oh my god. goals. Can we, Can we please? Why isn't it like Woody and Buzz or something, not like the weird teddies that were like together? Woody, excuse me? Isn't he bisexual? Isn't he a toy? Those are toys. I'm a toy. You're I'm just toys. kidding. That's totally what those are used for. Never gave late diamond rings. This is my favorite aisle, by the way. It's the bucket and I think carpet aisle. Like, you never think carpet when you think Dollarama. But you get carpet when you get to Dollarama. Yeah, look at all that carpet. Oh, this and is my pillows? jam. There's pillows, there's blankets. These are kind of, ew, never mind. Ew, yeah, they feel like. Yeah, but look at all these buckets. Like, I can easily convert this into a terrarium or a fish tank. I might actually need to- I might come back and buy these for a later video, guys. Okay, keep those in mind. Some candles? Some Christmas candles? Not candles. Okay, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Are those long candles? Yeah, we can do some- Are you gonna say it? Witch stuff. Nice. Did you say furries? Oh no, they're just Shout out to for furries to existing. No, they don't deserve clean Okay, never mind. Shout out to nope, you don't deserve clean water. Sorry. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. This is my jam. Thank you. Shout out for Dollar Emma. Shout out to Dollar Emma for playing this song. This is my jam. She was mine, and we were 18 and 13, and she was my sister. <laughs> Shout out to Alabama for being incest is wincest. I'm just kidding. That's disgusting. Oh, the cooking aisle. Cooking up a uh, good. Where's my chapstick? Stop losing your chapstick. Here's a cute little story. I'm just kidding, it's disgusting. She loses her chapstick on the daily, and one time we were on a island full of hippies, and it was so small that you could walk across the island and find her chapstick anywhere on the island. I'm not lying, I found it like eight times within two days. Bleach! Oh, oh God. I was thirsty. Damn. Those come in handy. If you're into like science experiments, they're, they're the go-to side. I got a whiff of something and I can't breathe. <laughs> oh god. The usual delinquents. Look at them. Wait, why, why am I shaking so much? Juvenile delinquents over here. Sheesh, get a job. He walking. He walking. Look at him go. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna cut that part out. But if you take a look, 7-Eleven. That's where everyone else goes besides Dollarama. Literally, you're over there. Look at that barbed wire, by the way. Shout out to barbed wire. <laughs> and razor wire. Thanks for existing. Sorry. Okay, and more crows, by the way. There's lots of crows. More of this blue fencing. Too much of this blue fencing, actually. I. It's weird. Um, shout out to Super Save Group for, um... Saving We're super disposable fencing. Yeah, this fencing's really good. Um, the crows are loud and everywhere. This might be a theme of our videos. You might see a lot of crows. Um, 
that's a good spot. People like to stand there um, behind that thing all the time. There might be a secret tunnel back there. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We're coming on up beside the bank. Um, the bank right here is like the best and only bank in town. It's CIBC. Shout out to CBIC for being awesome. Um, there's also a thrift store, a, a pizza place that looks like a old timey fire department. Our shut down Alder Grove Market. It shut down because it shout was out to Dollarama. Selling drugs to kids. Oh, it was also doing that. <laughs> also 7 Eleven. Thank you. Yeah, okay, here. It's still on film. Bananas. Just. Entire whole bananas. Just chilling on the ground. Oh, there's Just... a bag of them. Hey, look, there's us in the uh, reflection. Shout out to Hi. us. Hi, for being awesome. But also bananas. That's weird. I like how they're hollow. <laughs> Someone literally ate the banana with a spoon. I swear. But for real though, an actual shout out goes to Home Hardware in town in uh, Alder Grove, because we're in Alder Grove, just so you know. <laughs> Hence the name of our series. But anyway, shout out to Home Hardware for being super amazing and actually donating tools to our Bertrand Creek cleanup group. We really love that and we recommend whoever's watching this, if you live in town, shop at Home Hardware. They are the best. What are you getting from my bag? My water bottle. Okay. And also, um, so there's the front of the mall that we were talking about. Um, there used to be a Chinese restaurant, and there's the entrance. The inside kind of looks like a zombie apocalypse if we ever do actually get a glimpse inside, but that might be for a later video. And then here is the bus stop. So um, it goes to like Surrey and all the good places. But yeah, if we ever do any videos on buses, this is the place where we will be uh, going to the buses. <laughs> What? Why would we do a video on Boston? I don't know, we might. Oh, and there's the medical center. They just, they put that in. It's got a pharmacy and everything. It's great. That's yeah. Great. That's where I got my pills. Shh. Shout out to Jolina for taking pills. <laughs> don't worry, they're completely legal and subscribed or whatever. Oh, subscribe. Speaking of prescribed, <laughs> subscribe to us for more awesome content. We're planning on expanding our series, so don't worry. Again, Home Hardware, we love you so much. You don't even know, thank you. God, I'm gonna cry, I love Home Hardware. They're the best. Oh God, I'm tearing up. Um, Another cool thing is we have random plugins just next to trees, just everywhere. Just it doesn't matter where. There, see that? That's a plugin over there. So there's plugins that just stick out of trees and like half the time they work so you can actually charge your phone anywhere in town. That's kind of an upside of our town. There may be garbage, there may be pollution, but there's chargers sticking out of everything. And half of them work. Um, another section of the Bertrand Creek. Another shopping cart. No matter where you go, there's a shopping cart in the creek. We also have a, um, this building. I'm not sure what it's used for. No one knows what it's used, no one knows what it's used for. Um, this is a park. Alder Grove Kinsman Heritage Park, yeah. And there's, there's a cool place where things can happen. It's like a gazebo or a bungalow or something. There's a tiny little hill down there you can sit in. It's great. I've never actually read this before. What's it say? Lower Mainland Best Condo Value. Alder Grove Grand at Willow Creek. Square foot condos in the heart of Alder Grove. See all this new development. It's crazy. Christmas Craft Fair. And that's a uh, church. Yeah. Yes, it oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, beat ya. 
That's a very deep hole in the mud. I want to also tell you, I've never seen anyone sit in this little dome thing, and all it does is pool up water that turns the surrounding ground, just all that ground, into like quicksand mud. It's it's horrible. It's weird. There's the Usus building. I once did a uh, movie or video project um, in that area, so I might show that on the account if we want. I don't know. It might be cool. We do have a lot of amenities and stuff like that. And see this tiny little building here? This is the telephone museum. Yes, our town has a... One sec. So anyways, this here is our town's museum. It is a telephone museum. Yes, you heard us. A telephone museum. Now, I heard that inside there's like a town archive with with um, old stuff, like history of the town, and in our following videos we might dive deeper into our town's history, and this is where we would be making that video. So again, for another video, if you guys are interested, be sure to subscribe and follow our channel, and we'll definitely be diving deeper into our town's history via the Telephone Museum. Shout out to our Telephone Museum, it needs more people going there. Okay, crossing the street. This is a big mat of invasive plants. Can you tell me a little bit about them, Jolina? They have a matted root system, just like most invasive plants. Most like, so, you mean more like most invasive plants in Alder Grove? Most invasive plants in BC, and obviously, I mean, they prevent certain animals from walking through them. Obviously a squirrel is not gonna be able to completely walk through this. And squirrels are native and we need them to be able to do that. Um, they can also choke out different trees, different native plants. That's about it. Yeah, they're terrible, we hate them, but they look pretty and that's why people plant them around here. There's a few sections of the Bertrand that have a lot of these suckers choking it out. very dense. Like if you look here, they are incredibly dense. Damn, that's a lot of oh. density. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, yep, that's fine. Bertrand, it's the creek we clean, but instead, this state form where houses exist. The people in the houses do not realize that the creek is completely and utterly trashed. I mean, they may, I think half of them do, I, I don't know. We'll, I, I, we'll, we'll do a poll, we'll, we'll interrogate them or something. Um. <laughs> What? I'm just... You're interrogating them. Do you know? <laughs> Leads to fish habitat. So this storm drain must lead to the Bertrand. Yeah, this is the one, you know that, um... The very runny one that we saw? Yeah, we'll I'm go check that one out. that's where this leads, Okay, so we're actually going to check out where this drain leads to. So we'll follow this path down and we'll show you. Some of the actual pretty things in our town include the trees that line our walkways. So this here is a pile of wet cardboard. We stumbled across it. Sometimes there's wet cardboard piles everywhere, but this is a, a large one in a common rural area by this beautiful... Oh book. oh, book time. Oh, it's just a yellow pages. What's that say? Langley, Surrey. North Delta and White Rock, Lower Mainland. Yeah, it's a phone book. Oh, nice. We can call people now. <laughs> beautiful leaves. Holy cow. I love these trees. Ow! <laughs> Whoa, that tree, that leaf is hanging itself. Oh my god, it's me a couple of leaves. Yeah, please don't. So over here is the part that we're actually going to go to right now. As you can see, it's very overgrown from the top. But there is a small amount of leaves. Yeah, and those are the plants we were talking about choking it out. Look at them all. Um, over there is the part where we actually clean, like the Bertrand Creek cleanup, where we meet and clean the creek. 
and uh, it's been going really well, which we'll go over later. So I'm passing the camera over to Jolina. Who's just gonna go down and show you where the strain goes. So, as you can see right here, I'm not gonna go down because it's very flooded right now and I'm gonna get wet. But essentially, right here is where we would think that the drain goes. And if you look down here, uh, wait, I'll have to go down a little further. Move. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. Ah, go, go, gadget arm. Nope, okay. I'm just gonna fall down here a little bit. So down there is the other side of the Bertrand um, tunnel way. This is like one of the many sewer-like systems that the creek actually flows through and then the highway goes over top of it. There is where that drain that we were looking at further back leads to. So all that water is runoff from the streets and maybe even farmland and it's all dumping into the creek. So who knows what type of uh, oils, pesticides, manure, and other particles running in. And I think there's a dam down there. Yeah, if you can see that thicket, that's a dam. It, there's some film building up on top of it, on top of the water, and it's like stopping all the trash and leaves. So we'll have to clean that one up later. And I think there's a piece of wood or something that we'll have to remove as well. So yeah, it's not looking too well. The water's pretty brown and there's no activity of crayfish, fish, or anything else going on down here. I know, and that's a bad thing. Stickleback go everywhere. Yeah, stickleback. We'll talk a lot about those fish later on. So let's head to the next section, guys. And this is where we actually clean the creek. It's a Veneta Park. And we clean the creek just in there, which we will get to in a second. So this is where we clean the creek. We actually cleaned a giant dam from right here. And a couple others, there are small ones where these two waterfalls are and a giant one just over there where that bush is, um, just there. And so we actually cleaned all of those. You can see where all the sticks are still. They're in the bushes and a bit right there as well as some trash that we found like right there. And yeah, so we come here every Friday. We clean out either trash, invasive species, or of course we clear out the dam. We do need to clear out a dam just a little further ahead, but it's very deep there and we need hip waders for that. So yeah. These are some clippers that we, uh, we actually left here and they ended up in the creek. So we need to uh, remove those right now. We're gonna film Brennan removing those right now. Yeah, so this is a standard procedure operation. Um, typically when removing um, objects from the creek. Bro, you look like a cryptid right now. What? Looks like I'm filming Bigfoot, but the skinny, ugly version. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, who knows. Haha. -ha. Ah, 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 oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the close one. Um, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> This isn't good. Sorry, no, um, I'll go around. Yeah. Yeah, you can step on those rocks. That's what I... Ow, my butt is deep in, uh... Polly or whatever that is. I rescued them. Yay! Yeah. There's um a uh, part of a dish set in there. There's a little clay thing. Again? Yeah. It looks fresh too. Look at it. If you zoom in, it's not the same color as the bottom. Oh, there's two of them. We cleaned out ten of those last time. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh. There we go. You, we cleaned out literally 10 of those last time. And now there's more. 
Who keeps putting them in the creek? Let me eat them out of existence. This reminds me of like an 80s commercial. Yep. Febreze. <laughs> Why would you put Febreze in your hair? I put Febreze in my hair and a dandy old scarf from Leon's. So this is the area of the creek that we used to clean. Um, this was completely full of canary grass. As, but however, we did remove almost all of it. As you can see, there's not much in the actual creek. Um, we also removed a few other species like stickleback and um, some like blackberry bushes. This is Brennan picking a giant log up, trying not to get wet. So yeah, this part of the creek is where we used to clean. This is where we started our bridge rent cleanup. And now we have obviously moved it downstream a lot more. You can see the water is flowing and it is much, much healthier than it was prior. Let's go down a little bit. So, yeah. Thank you. I would like to state we do return here quite often to pick up trash that's in the creek or things like that. However, the canary grass is something that we don't do much over here anymore. We will return to it later though. But it is the season where it starts to die, as you can see over here, and seasonal rot. So we can't exactly remove it right now just because we won't take its roots with us and that would be useless because it can grow from its roots. Also, just to see the effects of canary grass, all of this bank should not exist. That is purely canary grass root. As I mentioned earlier, they do create a completely matted root system, which you can stand on and it's perfectly solid. As we explore the swamp, you will also need to keep that in mind. This is the other place that we um, clean in the Bertrand, which is right here. And then we did also get the water flowing here as well. So, as you can see right there and over there. Again, the canary grass just creates this perfectly, like, just stable ground, which shouldn't be here. There should be creek where I am standing right now, but it has began to choke out the creek to make it a lot smaller. So, yes. Is that the wild Brennan? Yes. It's wild running in his natural habitat. Fall! Yeah! It's a little wet. Ew! Oh, it smells like. Oh, it's all reeks like that booty. Reeks like curd. Gross. Oh. Just <laughs> mentioning. This is the creek from this view, and it's really actually quite pretty um, here, the, which I appreciate. Despite the canary appreciate. grass. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So this should also be part of the creek here. It should have water flowing through it and create a wetlands over there. However, the canary grass, just to show how it chokes out the water, as you can see, it has completely taken over. This is almost completely solid ground now. You can walk on it, and there's no water that actually flows through. See, I'm stepping on it. I'm walking on it. So that's just the power of canary grass. And removing this, we'd have to remove every single root or else it would just grow back again. And we will be working on that a bit later, which we might film. So speaking of pollution in the creek, it is um, right beside a residential area, which has quite a bit of runoff. So a lot of their, like, them washing cars, watering their lawns, putting out fertilizer, things like that will run into the creek and create a lot of pollution. It will make the acidity levels rise a lot, uh, which makes it perfect for, again, canary grass and invasive species to grow because the native species don't like 
acidic water, they don't like warm water, and they don't like stale water or stagnant water. So the residential area really does affect how the Bertrand Creek performs as an ecosystem. See, people in our town do actually care about the ecosystem. Displayed with these cute little bird condos, a lot of people have those up because a lot of our birds are not, not here or they don't come here very often because the crows have basically overtaken a little bit. Yeah, like I said um, in the video earlier, those birds that we were seeing near Dollarama you don't hear any of them in this area and you don't see any of them in this area. And they area. should be in this area. So people have created little bird houses out of trash that basically the crows won't live in and the native birds, the little chickadees, things like that will. Okay, so it's very deep here. We are now on the other side of that, this little area of the Bertrand. See that right there? That's a little island in the middle. Well, the creek would be continuing around and then up to the other side where we said the canary grass was growing. However, but there's this huge dam right there right made there. from boulders as well as the canary grass. So if we remove the canary grass and this dam made of boulders, we might be able to make it an actual island and the water flowing. Yes, so that's a plan for us as well. More human trash. We've got a soccer ball. We've got a pot from a potted plant. And... Probably there, some stuff we can't see in yeah. the deep, <laughs> dark, ugly water. Ugh. And there's some uh, bramble bushes. If we cut all those, we can actually get down the side and down into there. There's a few access points, actually. Um, so we'll also be checking out the other side of this area. So let's... Right across the street. Right across the street. So I was looking on Google Maps, and somewhere in this field, actually, or this section of land, the creek starts. According to Google Maps. Supposedly. You can't just start in a field. Well, we're gonna... Ha oh, a frog! A frog just jumped in! Oh my god, we have frogs! Holy cow! Where'd it go? Look for it. Trying. Oh, that's so cool! Okay. Wildlife. We actually have wildlife. Probably some native wildlife. I mean, yeah, because it was small. I mean, last time we were here, um, well, not last time, but a while ago, during the summer, we saw bullfrogs. These huge guys living around, and they're invasive, of course, but that looked like a small one, so it hopefully was a native species. It also looked brown, so that's pretty cool. Holy cow. And see this canary grass, this, this brown lumps? It's all dead. So it all Seasonal died. Rotting. Seasonal rotting. Yep, rots during December, so that's why it all dies. It's well, it's November, but you know, when it gets cold out. It's not supposed to be in the water. So farmers use canary grass as feed for their cows. Rain brings the seeds down into the water, and since these guys are pretty hardy, they just grow right in the creek and then die and form these dams. So that's a long story short for you. And they also take oxygen out of the water. Yep. So hopefully we can do an exploration video of this field and see where the creek actually starts as well. So that might be fun, but today we're just running over a few of the areas that we uh, find interesting. Just to introduce you to our channel and our videos. And our town, of course. Stop existing. <laughs> Me, when I look in the mirror at myself, I can do that with radar. Mm-hmm. So if you look right there, it's a weird pipey thingy sticking out of a weird concretey thingy. It's a pretty cool getup right there. Do you know what that is? No. I'm assuming it's an access to the uh, sewers though. Oh, guys, should we do a sewer exploration video? It might be weird and we might not be able to do it, but if we can, should we? That might be interesting. Who knows what will be lurking down below our town in the sewer. So that might be an interesting video. We probably won't do it unless we get the proper gear and we find out if we can do that. But if we can, that would be a pretty cool exploration video. So hopefully we can do it. Why is there a QR code? Hey, if any of our uh, viewers know how to do QR codes. Download an app. Download an app, scan that, see what that even means, and tell us in the comments down below. Thank you guys. Yeah, I never, these have been here for years, and I've literally never seen them move from these positions or be used. What the heck? 
Did, did a building use it? Was this woodland area or like? PA building homes. Half a, half a pig. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, but yeah, that's, that's so weird. But I, they're they're cool. They're very aesthetic. They're like small town esque. Wait, there's an old creamy stuff in this one. Where? Super old Timmy's cup in there. Holy cow. That's so interesting. Look at that. Seeing these things up close. Like, look how big that bucket is. Watch out. You might get squished. Yeah, look, you can tell they haven't been used in a long time. Look at this. The plants are growing around them. Oh my goodness. Interesting. Okay. Ah! Ouch. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Pricklebush. Here, stand right, stand right in there. Let's get a scale of you with this absolute unit. Look at how absolutely large this is. This is like literally two Jolinas tall. See, one, two. Isn't that crazy? But look how tiny the little tire is, aw. Yeah, so we've got a lot of those lying around town. Yeah, yeah. The rest of all of those kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. A Hummer! A Hummer! Oh my god, a Hummer! Jeez, oh my, oh goodness, oh my goodness. Also that building right there used to be an antiques and collectibles place, but it, it closed down. And I'm really sad because that place was full of weird stuff. Like it had like alien mannequins and stuff. And um, just a lot of bizarre and My weird. Thing was the Confederate flag that it was uh, flying. Yeah, that a little bit of oof right there, but okay. So yeah, uh, we're heading over to the school now. What is happening in there? Okay, okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's a new meeting to walking all. <laughs> yeah, so this... Oh, it smells like pot. Ugh. So this is like... Mm, this is the mm side of town. A little tiny mm houses, little mm mms. Mm. Don't want to walk by this, but sometimes we do. Because we have to. You got that on camera, right? He a little thicky. <laughs> he looks like a shadow. He does. The absolute unit itself. That looks like a jail. The local school. That's right. This is the local school. Well, one of the local schools, yeah. Um, this is the high school, and it's huge. Well, I mean, like, it's absolute unit scale big. And this is the epicenter, I believe, of the town. I don't know. It's, like, in the middle. There's also a library over there. You can get books there and stuff. It's also a little center. What's that thing? That's a portable. Oh, yeah. For, um, Ew. How do you know that? Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. It's Wendy Potter. She goes to all the schools. She has a portable at every one. Ew. Okay. Um, look at these. Stonehenge over here. We've literally got a circle of stones. Um, they're wet all the time. Look at that. Don't fall. Don't slip and fall. Ew, look how wet they are. It's like Stonehenge, evil ritual style Stonehenge. Oh, hey, hold, hold the camera first. No, never mind. 
I'll do it off screen. One sec, guys. There's no circle in the middle of it. Bro. I'm making a really bad Satan. Oh, okay. I'm still making a really bad No, 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 finish it, because now it just looks dumb. Oh, now you just covered up. No, I was kidding. You can finish. Okay, whatever. So, wow. Look at that. A mysterious symbol appeared. It's not like these tables are used for evil rituals or anything. Oh, crap. That was a fast fall. Like My camera even said that. A mysterious symbol appeared? I know. Wow. It's the worst. Wow. Okay. More trash. KFC trash. Trash everywhere. What do people think? That this is just gonna disappear? Sure, half of this is paper-based, but that's not paper-based. That's single-use plastic. Look at all that single-use plastic. It's all over the place. Trash cans exist. Actually, wait, there's no trash can around here. There's no trash can around here. There should be a straw. Oh my god. We're gonna have to come back here with bags and stuff and clean all this up. You know where this ends up? The ocean. God. Filthy. Are you gonna film the pentagram? Yeah, I, I said, wow, a uh, pentagram, that's mysterious. Where'd that come from? Woo, oh no. You get down from there, it's wet and you're gonna... That was the worst noise ever, I hated that. Yeah. Is that dripping? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Wait, can I roll up? Yeah, sure. These weird ritualistic symbols. Very, very bizarre stuff going on here. Oh god, I didn't even notice those. Oh my, holy cow. <laughs> Hello. Oh, these are. What if we come back here like every time we film, and there's like an actual human head up there? Look at that one with the unibrow with the gems on it. I know, I'm trying to zoom in on that one right now. Maybe if you move. Hello. Oh, that's a big oof, not gonna lie. We do Catman, Catman, Catman. Or woman, I, I don't, I can't tell anymore. 20. Oh my god. So, wow. Single use plastic? Literally everywhere. Everywhere. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. This is really. Is that a pillow? You're, you're kidding me. There's like a wrapper there, bottle cap there, and a pillow. Ew, ew, ew. Stop kicking it. Oh god. It actually seems kind of comfy, not going on. <gasps> Oh, that seems so comfy. Oh, now there's a big footprint in it. Oh, well. I fixed it. It's styrofoam, the worst single-use plastic. Randomly a PCV piping, just random. No, that's for uh, toilet paper. Dark alleyway, here we go. I wonder where this leads. Hey, open it up. I don't think I can. Come on, you've got muscles. Let's go, McGillicuddy. Beast mode it. Yeah, that's not happening. Why? What is it like welded? No, it just No, it's it's welded. No, it's not. It's welded. Oh. Yet yeah. oh yeah, you're right. Damn, okay. Whatever. Frick okay. I missed. Single use plastic. plastic. No parking. This child, I swear. I am in great, great pain. Oh, wow, another alleyway. More single-use plastic. A puddle of urine, Pennywise. No, really, a, a, a puddle of urine. Oh, even better, look, there's a cigar in there. This literally sums up our town right now. That's a cigarette, right? You're sitting on that. You could get AIDS, gonorrhea, diarrhea, flipping hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. You could get flipping hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids, herpes, E. coli, Ebola, 
gonorrhea, tortilla -ria, You already said Pizzeria. That. You get all of it. Your bare booty is touching that disgusting... Oh, uh, whatever. This disgusting, dirty, wet, peed on, whatever the heck this is. How do you know it's peed on? Oh, I don't. Did you pee on it? No, I didn't pee on it. Um, Pennywise 1... Pennywise 2. Why are there two sewer thingies so close to each other? This is the weirdest thing ever. That's so bizarre. Because it's, uh, like that. So, some water's going to that side, some water's going to the other side. That makes sense. Oh, we haven't even crossed to the glory lands yet. Look at those oil cans. <laughs> what the heck? I actually don't know what that is. Why, what's this thing above it? Why does that look, what is that? It's mesh-like. It's like six oil cans, and then above the oil cans are some sort of mesh connectors. There's a bunch of dust. I think this might be where, like, dust gets sucked into, and then they just move the oil cans. But they oh, look stationary. Yeah, a a, oh yeah, sawdust collector. And that's probably where it gets, like, fed into or whatever. Oh, it's, um... You know that it's a sandblaster. Oh, for the yeah. Sandblaster. Awesome. It's a random jail cell. No, it's not. I lied. It is a dust collector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sweet. It goes into that weird sucky thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow, look at this little jail. Why is there salmon all around us? What on earth? <laughs> you know how expensive salmon is? Yeah, this is like smoked salmon, bro. That's like a lot of salmon. See all those little dots right there? I didn't even notice that. Bruh, it's like an entire salmon got decimated. Who just takes a whole entire salmon and does that? It's complete and utter chaos. It's carnage. Body parts everywhere. See, that's, that's screwed up. That's so weird. That's so... I don't even... I wouldn't have an explanation for that. I don't know what... Like, how... I think it might be carrot. You're literally tarted, right? Yeah, I think it might be carrot. They're baby carrots that have been stepped on. They're not salmon. Okay, that's fine. But that's still weird. Like, what is that? Oh, trash. Single use, single use, slushy straw. It's a lot of cardboard. Noise. More single use. Look at this thing. It's oh, like this is tar, I think. baked tar. Nice. My favorite food is baked tar. Wow. You could do a scavenger hunt. Alder Grove scavenger hunt. For what language is that? That's a. That's. Those are URLs. Those are links. Close enough. What language is that? I don't know. Whoa! Shout out to Super Save again. Not only are they doing dumpsters, they're also doing fencing in Alder Grove. Interesting. And now we are exiting the school. So let's head further into town and see what else we can find. That's an interesting looking shroom right there. Well, I'll have to do some research and see the effects of that shroom if it were to be consumed. Yeah, I know how to do that. Sir. <laughs> what? No, we are not eating the shroom, okay? You know how many mushrooms grow here in Alder Grove? There's just so many different species. Like, look at that one. There's just so many. Because it's almost always wet here. You can't sit down without getting wet. It's just... No, we have droughts in the summer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Terrible droughts. Oof. Oh, more construction. See? New construction. And speaking of new construction, this water park just opened maybe a year or two ago, and it's new. It's like completely new. And it's also, like Dollarama, the center of our economy. <laughs> you said that about five things. That takes away the center of our economy piece. <laughs> No, it is the center. They're all a center of economy. What are you just gonna say? Yeah, that chicken store down the street. That's the center of our economy. No, 
Dollarama, swimming pool, and that's it. Center of our economy, maybe. Okay, we're gonna continue walking up there, and we'll see you guys in a little bit when we're further up the street, because this takes forever. See you whenever we talk about that. Yep. So here we are. The Milshan shop. Thank you. So that there is a historical building. It's been in this town for such a long time. It used to be the town hall. It, yeah, it used to be the town hall. It has this cool little outstruck and Hallmark movies. Literally every Hallmark movie uses this as a storefront. I'm not lying. There's been four in the last few months. Yes, so many film crews have came and filmed here constantly. It's crazy. So that's a great place that people used to film. Oh God. This massive extent of open gravel lot used to be a massive ice rink. It was by far my favorite ice rink ever to exist. I have had so many memories there and they completely removed it. There is nothing left. It is completely decimated, demolished, destroyed. All my memories gone. And who knows what they're gonna put here. Maybe a parking lot, condos. I don't know. Just because they opened up that new that new pool slash ice rink in town, I don't think that should have been means to get rid of this. They could have had two ice rinks because that ice rink sure as heck is very busy. So it would have been nice to have two in our town, but they just decided it was too old and I guess they didn't have the money to keep it up. I don't know, it's just gone now and I'm really sad and disappointed about that. And honestly, I've never really walked through this, but seeing the decimated rubble of what was once a memorable place where people would go, families would go, kids would go to have a fun time, just just barren and empty, it's, it's quite depressing, but that's just how it be sometimes, I guess. Yeah, we've got a nice pile of gravel back there, holy cow, and more of that fencing. So yeah, fun times. Wonder what we can find in here from the the ruins of what was once one of the happiest places in the town. It's a lot of piping. Wood as well. Concrete. Styrofoam. I wonder if they left anything behind, any... Here we go. So this right here is a piece of the inside of the rink. So along the sides they would have this blue pattern. Like the whole inside was themed this color. And this is kind of rubbery so this might be part of the floor. Maybe part of a walkway. It's got some concrete underneath it. Yeah, just a lot of sad rubble. Maybe we might do a separate video on this area and explore what other cool things we can find left over from what was once uh, ice rink. Okay, so we're gonna continue on further down back to where we started the video. This is actually a pretty steep hill. Let's see if I can climb up it. Here we go. So there's the last pano shot before we continue on further down. Some beautiful trees, some nice treescapes. Pretty nice. That's like a park or something. Some cool stumps. We might explore that when we do the exploration of that gravel pit pile. Interesting. I wonder if you can hear our water bottles colliding in there. Yeah. Oh no, I hope not. <laughs> Sorry guys. Also, all our roads, doesn't matter which road, has these cracks <laughs> just on like... them. Just all these beautiful lines of cracky, filled in, smudged over tar. tar. Yeah, pretty nice. Also, there's a high population of squirrels in Aldergrove, like massive. 
and hopefully in later videos we can like document their weird ass behavior. Yeah, they throw nuts at you. They do a lot I've more than just that. I've never been anywhere. But it's all just dog poo. That, that does not look like dog poo. Why's it got plants in it? Why does it look like human poo? Oh god, okay. <laughs> huh. And uh, look at that Fun times sulfur. in Aldergrove. Fun times in Aldergrove. Look at the sulfur on the ground. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, breathe that on in its chemistry class. <laughs> Woo! More cracks in the road. Okay, so we're almost to where we started the video. Let's do a teleportation right to the start. Get ready guys. Teleporting in three, two, one. Okay, and we're back at the start of our video. So, this is the first video. It was a little choppy. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah, we're still working on it. Stay so, with us. Yes, please stay with us. Thank you for watching. The videos will get better, the quality will get better, and the content will definitely get better. And if you guys want to see anything or want us to do any videos on specific things or aspects or have any tips on improving, we'd love to hear it in the comments down below. So again, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do